Well, certainly uh, low-level presence is, I, I believe, the top priority item for the Canadian Sea Trade Association because it's not simply the, uh, the companies that are developers of these events that may be encountering problems, but uh, uh, virtually all the traditional trade of seed may well find itself being confronted uh, with low-level presence of, of unapproved events that might be being imported into a country. So uh, what we have been doing, doing rather, as CSTA, we, uh, we spent a lot of time on this and, and uh, some uh, year or so ago have developed a, a policy that we think is a workable solution for uh, the movement of seed in the international markets. And uh, we have been continuing to advocate that policy uh, to, uh, through other um, uh, regional and international associations, notably the Seed Association of Americas, but as well the International Seed Federation, to continue to refine and gain support for, for this proposal as something that they would uh, take on board, uh, agree with the approach, and if so, as, a, uh, it, as an association, they would then uh, advocate this to their respective uh, governments. And, and try to adopt that as a, as a policy and ultimately create a, uh, a, a low-level policy that is, is global in nature. Uh, we've had some pretty significant progress just in the last few months. We understand that the annual meeting of the American Seed Trade Association uh, endorsed the, the approach that is part of the, the procedure. The Seed Association of Americas have in fact drafted a position paper which draws very heavily from the text and is the identical approach that we have used. And out of that we understand that Argentina has uh, likewise adopted the approach, uh, the Argentine Seed Association. And so uh, you know, we're continuing to build and we're making genuine progress uh, in that area. Uh, the other area that we're um, quite active in is uh, there is an OECD working group that deals with uh, low-level presence as well, particularly in trying to develop an, an international risk assessment procedure for environmental release. And uh, there's been recent meetings in, in the EU, um, notably in Paris, but of all OECD member countries. And uh, so there has been significant progress towards developing internationally recognized risk assessment procedures, not, not dictating a risk management decision for for various countries, but at least how do you do a basic risk assessment uh, uh, so that if you were c confronted with a low level presence with an import into your country, at least you have some ground rules as to uh, how to, uh, how to m make a management decision to mitigate, uh, uh, mitigate the presence. So uh, very su it's a high, very high priority issue and I think very pleased that we're making some pretty significant progress. As you may know, at, at certainly the time of this interview, there's been a change in my career in that uh, I'm, uh, I've retired in terms of a full-time employee of CSTA and, and, and uh, however, I have uh, uh, worked with the executive of CSTA to negotiate an ongoing uh, contract for uh, in the next two years to uh, work in uh, uh, six or seven project areas and uh, among those project areas we'll continue to to uh, uh, you know work in the advocacy role of low-level presence but as well um, you know get get others on stream as part of the transition so that the momentum will be will be continued great access and benefit sharing uh, also remains amazing